Hi everyone, let us discuss this example in this video. Okay, so here we have to prove or disprove the given statement. The statement is we have two matrix spaces xd and yd dash. X is a complete matrix space function f from x to y which is on two and continuous then yd dash is also a complete matrix space. Actually this statement is not true. So we are going to prove the given statement is not true. So let us mention that thing here. So we will prove that we will prove that given statement is not true. Given statement is not true. That means here we have to find a counter example, okay, which will show that the statement is not true. Let us find that example. So we want some matrix space XD and YD dash. So my X is open interval 0, 1 with discrete matrix D. Okay, so we are familiar with a discrete matrix. Its definition is D of XY is equal to 0 if X is equal to Y and it is equal to 1 if X is not equal to Y. We want second matrix space Y D dash. So my I am taking Y is equal to 0, 1 again. Same set I am taking but with usual matrix, usual matrix D dash. Okay, generally we denote the usual matrix by DU but here I am denoting by D dash since we want the same symbol here, right? And after that, what we have to prove XD is a complete matrix space. We have to prove that this X with this discrete matrix D is a complete matrix space. We are familiar with one result that is in uh, discrete matrix space, every Cauchy sequence is convergent. Okay, so let me mention that result here. We know that, we know that in a discrete matrix space, every Cauchy sequence is convergent. Okay, so we can easily prove this thing in a discrete matrix space, every Cauchy sequence is convergent and this is nothing but the definition of complete matrix space. So therefore we can declare we have a discrete matrix. So definitely XD is a complete matrix space. So therefore XD is a complete matrix space. Okay. So the this condition is we have proved. So let us continue here. So see we have proved that our XD is a complete matrix space. After that we want a function which is continuous as well as on two. So let us define a function. Now we define, now we define a function C i from x to y as i of x is equal to x. So I am defining an identity function. Okay, So this is identity function. Since you can easily see our x and y both of them are same. So therefore definitely we can define identity function in this way. So it's an identity function. So it gives the same value. So definitely we can say it is a onto function. So let me mention clearly i is onto. Okay. So this condition is satisfied. So let us prove that this function is continuous. Okay. Now to prove that i is continuous. Let me mention now to prove that i is continuous. So how to prove the function is continuous? We have epsilon delta definition of continuity. We have sequential continuity as well as one more result is there. If you have any open set in codomain and its inverse image is also open in domain, then we can say the function is continuous. I will do the same. I will take one open set in y and I will prove that its inverse image is open in x. Let us take one open set. Let G be an open set in y d dash. Okay, y d dash means this is over y and with usual metric d dash. So its inverse image i inverse g is inverse image is obviously we have taken a subset of y. So its inverse image is obviously a subset of x. So it is subset of x. But do you remember our set X with a discrete matrix space? And we know that in a discrete matrix space, every set is both open and closed. So therefore, this is also a subset of X. So we can say it is an open set. Let me mention that result. We know that. We know that 
इन अ डिस्क्रीट मैट्रिक स्पेस इन ए डिस्क्रीट मैट्रिक स्पेस एवरी सेट इज बोथ ओपन एंड क्लोज सो दिस इज अ सबसेट ऑफ डिस्क्रीट मैट्रिक स्पेस एक्स डी सो दे आर फोर इट इज ओपन इन एक्स डी दे आर फोर आई इनवर्स जी इज ओपन इन एक्स डी सिंस डी इज अ डिस्क्रीट मैट्रिक राइट सो वी हैड टेकन एनी ओपन सबसेट ऑफ वाई डी डैश एंड वी प्रूव इट्स इनवर्स इमेज इज ओपन इन एक्स डी दे आर फोर आई इज अ कंटिन्यूअस फंक्शन सो दे आर फोर आई फ्रॉम एक्स डी टू वाई डी डैश इज ए कंटिन्यूअस फंक्शन ओके सो वी स्टेप बाय स्टेप वी प्रूव ऑल थिंग्स वी हैड टेकन टू मैट्रिक स्पेसेस एक्स डी एंड वाई डी डैश यू कैन इजिली सी हियर गेटिंग एक्स डी इज अ कंप्लीट मैट्रिक स्पेस दैट थिंग वी प्रूव वी हैड टेकन वन फंक्शन विच इज आइडेंटिटी फंक्शन हियर वी प्रूव इट इज कंटिन्यूअस एज वेल एज ऑन टू नाउ सिंपली वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट अवर मैट्रिक स्पेस वाई डी डैश इज नॉट कंप्लीट इज नॉट कंप्लीट देन वी कैन से द स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट ट्रू सो दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू प्रूव दिस वाई विथ अ यूजल मैट्रिक इज नॉट अ कंप्लीट When we say the matrix space is complete, if every Cauchy sequence is convergent, then we say that it is complete. That means we have to find a sequence which is Cauchy but not convergent in Y D dash. Then we can say it is not a complete. So let us do that thing. Just make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. Okay? Just make a screenshot of it. So I clearly mention here now to prove Y D dash is not complete. That means we have to find a Cauchy sequence in Y D dash. Which is not convergent. Okay, so let us find a sequence. So consider, I am considering a sequence x n is equal to one by. N. So now I will prove that it is a Cauchy sequence. Now, to prove that x n is Cauchy in Y D dash. Okay, so with the help of epsilon n definition, I am going to do. So let epsilon greater than zero be given. Okay. So we have to find n which will satisfy uh, the definition of Cauchy sequence, right? So by Archimedean property, definitely we can write. Let me mention by Archimedean property. See this property says definitely we can find a natural number greater than given real number. Okay. so by archimedean property there exist a natural number which is greater than such that 2 by epsilon less than n that means n is greater than 2 by epsilon let us shift n on this side epsilon on that side so 2 by n less than epsilon this is so much important thing so that's why i'm calling it as 1 okay let us go further so consider i'm considering d dash x n x m since we have to prove it is a cauchy sequence that means we have to prove it is less than epsilon but see d dash is a usual matrix so we can write in this way mod x n minus x m this is definition of usual matrix on r so this is equal to x n what is our x n 1 by m and x m is obviously 1 by m so we can write this is less than or equal to mod 1 by n plus mod 1 by m so if you take separate mod obviously we will get such type of inequality But see, n and m are natural numbers, so that's why there is no need of mod. So this is one by n plus one by. I am calling it as two. Okay. So let us consider this condition: n m greater than or equal to capital N. Okay. We are familiar with the definition of Cauchy sequence. At the end of definition, we always write n m greater than or equal to capital N. So that's why I am considering this condition. If you take reciprocal, we will have one by n. 1 by m inequality will get change 1 by n if you add them we will have 1 by n plus 1 by m less than or equal to 1 by n less than 1 by n plus 1 by m is also less than or equal to 1 by capital n that means this is 2 by n this is 3 so let us combine 1 2 and 3 from 1 2 and 3 see what will you get from 1 2 and 3 d dash of x n x m getting this is less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 by m 1 by n plus 1 by m less than or equal to 2 by n and 2 by n is strictly less than epsilon for all n m 
greater than or equal to capital N. This condition I should carry there. So we proved d dash of xn xm less than epsilon. So this is definition of Cauchy sequence. So therefore, our xn, which is nothing but 1 minus its Cauchy sequence in y d dash. Okay, so we proved it is a Cauchy sequence. Now we have to prove it is not convergent in y d dash. Okay, make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. Okay, so we proved it is Cauchy sequence. Now we will prove that it is not convergent. But see that sequence xn, which is 1 by n, we know that it converges to 0 in a usual matrix space. Get it? But 0 does not belong to this set uh, open interval 0, 1 which is nothing but our matrix space Y, okay? So it converges to zero, it is not in Y. So therefore, this sequence is not convergent. Therefore, Xn, which is one by N, is not convergent in Y d dash. So finally, we got a sequence, which is Cauchy, but not convergent. Therefore, it is not a complete matrix space. Therefore, Y d dash is not a complete matrix space okay so finally we proved that thing so we uh, took two matrix spaces xd and yd dash xd is complete we found one function which is continuous and on to and finally we proved that that yd dash is not complete okay so therefore the given statement is not true so therefore given statement is not true is not true okay so in this way we completed this example so make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.